Hey, this is Prof Twining, and this crazy group of misfits behind me is my intro to Ecology Lab at Eastern Nazarene College. I like to get these guys outside to explore the world and to learn about the biological communities in the neighborhood that they live in. Today, we're out here in the Blue Hills Reservation, and we're checking out a biological community that's right underneath our feet. Of course, I'm talking about leaf litter. Leaf litter is the plant material that accumulates at the base of trees on the forest floor that falls down from the trees when they lose their leaves or they lose their needles. And of course, we have another name for this, and that is detritus. So in order to learn about the biological community that lives in the leaf litter, we're going to have to collect some samples. So we're heading off down this trail in search of areas where there are pine needles and areas where there are deciduous leaves on the forest floor. We want to compare those two and see if the critters are the same or they're different from the pine needles to the deciduous leaves. Well, I would say that this looks like a good spot here to collect some leaf litter samples. What do you think? What we're going to do is we're going to collect some sam we're going to collect two samples here. Want to sample randomly? You take your sampling object and you go. And there we have a place to collect a random sample. What I would do is I would sort of figure out where the edge is and scrape all the material toward the middle. Take that away and scrape that entire square of material and shovel it into a Ziploc bag, as much as you can cram into it. All right, so we're gonna head back to the lab now and take these samples and put them in a Berlazi funnel and we'll subject them to some heat for the next few days and we'll see what happens. Hopefully the heat from the lamps will force the uh, critters out of the leaf litter and down into a jar where next week we can take them and look at them under the microscope. Very exciting stuff, gotta love leaf litter. So this is a good example of how a Berlazi funnel should be set up. You can see that we have the nice ring stand here and a support that's holding up the funnel. And then the funnel itself is containing the leaf litter that sample that we got from the forest. And we've put this light up here because the organisms that live in the leaf litter, they don't like light too much. And so this light and the heat from it are going to force those organisms down through the leaf litter and into the alcohol underneath. And next week we'll be able to take these samples and look at them under a microscope and see what critters are actually living in the leaf litter. <laughs> 